Hello everybody and welcome to another live stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's me, I am Johnny Chiodini. Um, today we are going to be playing some of uh, The Forgotten City, which is basically a standalone version of a very popular Skyrim mod that was uh, just sort of um, developed into a full-scale video game, uh, which is quite exciting. I've heard good things about it, I saw that it was on sale on the PlayStation Store, and I thought, yeah, that that sounds good. I like Skyrim. I like a good mystery. Uh, let's crack into that. So um, we're going to do that. And um, But before then, I just want to say a couple of things. Um, firstly, sort of as per usual, I'm going to be trying to keep it bright and breezy because um, sort of first and foremost, my, my job is sort of uh, to entertain people and to give them a space where they can just sort of come and bliss out and, and be chill. But uh, it, it wouldn't sit right with me if I didn't mention that at the moment the news is an awful lot. And I hope that people, first and foremost, are taking care of themselves. Um, I saw a very good tweet today that sort of uh, put it into a really good perspective, like doom scrolling is an activism and uh, doing it for ages um, is, is just bad for you and doesn't help you. Um, but nonetheless, sort of as I speak... Um, Russia has launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, which is um, terrifying and pretty awful. And also in the States, there's some really uh, dreadful anti-trans legislation being sort of proposed in Texas. Uh, and actually, in, indeed, it's something that's happening in a lot of other states. So um, I just wanted to say that both of these things are absolutely dreadful. I have pinned a comment into the chat. Um, one link is for uh, an aid charity for Ukraine, and another one um, is uh, a link to support trans teens in Texas. Um, if you were thinking about super chatting today, um, I think your money would be much better spent over there rather than going into my pocket. Um, you know, it is your money, do what you will. Uh, but I just wanted to start the stream by saying everything's a lot. I do hope everyone's taking care of themselves. If you are in a position to help, please do. Um, and yeah, w with that, We'll uh, we'll crack on, but um, thank you all very much for listening to that, and um, uh, we'll uh, yeah, let's start playing some of the Forgotten City. Um, I'm going to need you to tell me um, if the uh, uh, audio is all right, uh, the audio mix. Fucking hell. And that was quite loud already, wasn't it? We know that much. So, uh, well, I'll uh, I'll keep an eye on it. And uh, but do, do let me know if you want it to go up or down. Um, oh, is this on Game Pass? Oh, okay. Music is a bit loud. I'll say. Don't worry. Those yeah. <laughs> Game is a bit loud. That was an understatement and a half. Uh, right. Time to press any button. How is it now? Too loud there. Thank you, Corey Malayam. <laughs> <laughs> How are we now? Are we are we looking all right? Probably fine. Okay. Please help us avoid spoilers. It's quite loud in my ears. Eh. Eh. Um Please help us avoid spoilers. Dear content creators, hello. As you'll discover, this game is full of intrigue and plot twists. Please give your audience a spoiler warning before sharing content from beyond the white hallway so that interested players can fully enjoy the experience for themselves if they wish to. Sincerely, the Modern Storyteller Team. Okay, right. Well, let's do that first and foremost. Spoiler warning! I'm about to start playing a video game. If you continue to watch, you will see some of the video game, and in so doing, may discover what the game is like. Um, this may include, but is not necessarily limited to, details about the story, uh, which way not to go, what happens if you fall off a thing. You know, it's... You consider yourself warned, basically. So, um, right, back in we go. Um, you've been warned. I've, I feel like I've done the modern storyteller team justice. Let's crack on. A message from the developers. This game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. Yeah, well, fucking hell. This is a mystery adventure with multiple endings. Thoughtful conversation and exploration, not brute force. The fate of the city is in your hands. All right. Present day. There's the moon. Hey, 
I am. Yep. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. Hey, oh. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. What? I hope you don't. Mind. I do. But all I found was some loose change. Give it back. So, wanna tell me who you are? Absolutely, I do. Yes, but first, uh, I just want to read this out from Andrew uh, Creaser. I hope I said that right. If not, sorry. Um, hey, Johnny. I'm not able to catch streams live because work, but you're my girlfriend's favourite YouTuber we watch. We got engaged last week, so could you give out a shout-out to my new fiancée, uh, Christina? Absolutely. Hello, Christina. Congratulations on your engagement. Um, I hope you and Andrew have a long and happy life together. Um, absolutely tremendous news. Do invite me to the wedding. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um... Congra many congratulations. Uh, Captain Shiny, meanwhile, while well, we're looking at the shiny, shiny coin, has done a super chat saying, First time catching a stream since I made a YouTube account, so I want to give you some money. Say thanks for the lovely videos, brackets, and for getting me into Loop Hero, Hollow Knight, etc. I will also give to the others, though, with a smiley face. Thank you very much, Captain Shiny. That is absolutely delightful. Right, select body type. Let's go with this one. Let's go with the more femme one. Skin tone. I am quite pasty. Enter your name. Uh, I mean... Martin C says, wait, body type is coin. I mean, yeah. It's sort of, you know. But... Not butter. Butts. Kia Dinas is a good suggestion, though. Thank you, Brian Shona. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, wait, hang on. Dan Keller has absolutely nailed this. <laughs> but. Oh, no, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? Ah, yes, I think. What's the last thing you remember? Well, I, I was floating down the river because I'm a human and we're quite buoyant. Uh, okay, what were we doing, everybody? Uh, were we... Okay, right. Archaeologist. Years of studying history gave you occasional insights into the ancient world. Could be useful. I was on a covert mission. You have a military-issued firearm, but only ten bullets. So you have to use them judiciously since there's nowhere to get more. I don't really want a gun. I was on the run from the law. Some of the blah. 25% faster when sprinting. I fancy being an archaeologist, quite frankly. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Mm -hmm. Then you'll definitely want to hear this. Aha. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. <gasps> I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. Hmm. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... What I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Hmm. Please? Okay, so she's worried about Al, from which I think we can deduce that her name is Betty. Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy, I just... What do you want to know? What's, what's your story? Who's Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. What? I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Okay. <laughs> Brian Shona says, well, you can call her Betty. Uh, what can you tell me about the ruins? Not much, really. Great. But imagine what you might find in there. <laughs> Priceless ancient artifacts. Al... Oh, that's subtle. She's she's good. She should be a diplomat. Didn't even see that sliding in there. Cookie at 94 says, what's stopping her from finding Al? Uh, she promised she wouldn't leave the spot. Uh, what's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Not really, my job's very silly. You're not even going to tell me your name? 
Betty. Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Hey. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Always happy to help. <laughs> Was there anything else you wanted to ask? <laughs> you really don't remember? <laughs> We're in Italy. <laughs> this river is the Tiber. Oh shit, the Tiber. Have you tried calling for health? Hel health for help, Karen. <laughs> what am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. No, that doesn't... That doesn't mean you're an idiot if you're not asking for help. Why haven't you asked for help? I'm not stupid. What if no one hears me? <laughs> okay, that's all the questions I had. Wait. So you're ready to go look for Al? Sure, why not? <sighs> oh. <laughs> My hero. The entrance is just past those columns behind yeah, you. Yeah, take that, Karen. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Oh, it's whoa! A flashlight. This I was I mean, I'm sure we'll get to it eventually, but I really thought that this was gonna plonk me into a fantasy world straight off. You know? But anyway. Bum bum. Okay, tip. Use stick to moving. Got it. That bird sounds like a dance tune. More, 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 more. More, 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 more. More, 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 more. Nick Jeffries done a super chat saying, Hi, Johnny. How are you today? I'm just finished with treatment today and wanted to ask, when you're done with Hotas Dark Souls, is a dance mat next? Absolutely not. No. Um, just a different game with a Hotas. I'm not. Absolutely not doing Dark Souls on a dance mat. Goodness me. Okay. Oh, look! Column-um-um-um-um-um. That's some sort of ancient ruin, isn't it? <gasps> and an arch way 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 L2 to sprint. Curious. Lovely. Cheerful Spider says, what about a dance game on a dance mat? It kind of feels like you're barking up the wrong channel there. Um... There are, if you want to see dance content, there are a lot more sort of dance, dance appropriate uh, creators out there. Little Siha, for example, or Sia, um, S I H A, she dances a lot. Um, <gasps> backpack, a backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty food packets. Nothing valuable here, but still, it seems strange that Al left it behind. Martin C says D and DDR. That's quite funny. So, okay, we're not allowed to take the backpack. Al's note. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Wicked, wicked. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there against the odds? It seems there's only... What? There's only one way to find out. I didn't realize I was going to get... Naughty mosaic floor. Jesus. Sorry I interrupted you there, Al, but... It seems there's only one way to find out. There we go. If I'm not back in an hour, 
I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. I don't want to find Our out. Worth. Our worth. Lovely baths. Lovely, lovely Roman bath. Uh, Al seems like a pain, I'll be honest. Oh! Meminise semper vigilabant. Graffiti translate. Always remember they're watching. Oh, good thing we were an archaeologist. Now we speak Latin. Semper is always. Meminise. Mimesis? Like memory? Mem. mem memory. And then vi vigila. Obviously for watching. And then bant. Uh, for, for bant. So we go. Hello. You're all made of gold. Jesus, someone won a lot of trophies, didn't they? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm called Butts. <laughs> Ooh, lots of people, presumably, were judged and found lacking. These are mosaic inspect. An ancient Roman mosaic depicting a godlike figure turning a man into gold. Damn. That sucks. What is this plaque? They shall suffer... The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Presumably this was written by a teacher. Be like, none of you's leaving until I find out who did it. Mabel teacher says, oh no, I'm going to be pestered with how little Latin I remember with this, aren't I? Uh, yes, Mabel, in short. Uh, but don't worry, um, you, you know, obviously you saw my expert breakdown earlier. That'll help. I'll, I, I'm, I'm here for you. A Roman gladiator, mid-stride. What could have made a gladiator free? The threat of being turned to gold, I wager. Neko the Kitty asks an important question. So are these people gold-plated, or have they become solid gold? It did sort of say turn... no, showered in gold, which would suggest gold-plated. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Good hinges in these ancient Roman doors. Anyway. A young Roman woman. Woman. It looks like she was begging for her life. Yes. Well, this is a big old cave. I'm here because I fell down. I st trod on a mosaic and fell down, Whisper. Let's see. It's like a really shiny Pompeii. A Roman military commander attempting to scrabble away from some... Something. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I wonder if we can tip him back up. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Wait. These things must be hollow. That's surprisingly light, right? That or I've got legs like a horse. Oh. Okay, we're going to stop messing around with the poor Roman commander now. <laughs> Mabel teacher says, random history fact, the secret to Roman concrete was that they used seawater and volcanic sand. Only they didn't feel the need to specify on the recipe, so we didn't realise. Huh. A Roman legionary in a state of terror. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no.
It, oh, oh no, this one's this one's stuck firm. Okay, fair enough. Well, this one. Everyone seems very unhappy. In fairness, God sent a Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Oh, cheerful. Follow Owl's trail. Hanging garden statue. A garden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Owl. But how is that possible, Owl? Yikes. Okay, well. Ooh. Owl was found severely lacking, I'm afraid. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry oh. you had to find me like this. Where's the stone tablet? Even worse. She'll suffer the same fate I did. Ah! Ugh. I've spent a lifetime in this place. Going around and around in circles. How are you talking to me? Searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Okay. Death. Uh huh. And that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Ah. I see. Right. Thank you, Al. But I'm going to at least try. Anonymous says, I seem to remember doing the math when you gave the Dicebreaker D&D group 20 gold melons that it came out to two tons or so. So those statues are very much not solid. Thank you. A young Roman woman in a state of panic. Ah, bonk. Nicholas Grammer has done an absolutely massive super chat. Um, says, Mo Morning, Johnny. This game is awesome. I watched John from Many a True Nerd play through it and thought it was great. I hope you enjoy it. So far, I'm having a great time. Uh, we're just knocking statues about the place. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the um, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. This way, says the whisper. This way, continues the whisper. Whoop! Yes, yes, whisper. Who are you? God inspect a Roman man on his knees as if begging the gods for mercy. Now it's a Roman man on his side. Now it's a Roman man on his back. That looks extremely uncomfortable. Sorry about it. Right. This seems safe. In for a penny. Okay. We've stepped through the doorway and into the past. But hold on! We've just been here! We just knocked this man over! Oh no, we're going to have to meet all of the people whose bodies we've desecrated. Oh dear. Oh goodness. Uh... Salve, friend. Salve! I'm Galerius. Hello! Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Proserpina? Pros Proserpina? Uh, okay, what are we going to say, everyone? Butts and I come from the future. Wait, are you speaking English? Shrine of Proserpina, or Proserpina. And I'm Butts and I got lost. I'm really glad we stuck that V in there. That's really going to help us seem like, um... You know, really going to help me fit in, I think. I dare say. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Oh, that's Persephone to the Greeks. Thank you. Good to know. Um, 
I'm Butts and I've just come from the uh, future. No idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? <laughs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Fuck off. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you, you seem very lost and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for Don't you. Don't patronize me. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. The ancient Romans, man. It was a different time, you know. Not laws. Law. There's just one. The golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well... Turning into gold? It's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Uh. Yes, lead Hello the way. Ah! When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Hmm. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. 23? No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the magistrate. Aloy? This old bore won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. That is illegal, at least in the UK. You cannot, you cannot offer uh, rewards for voting a certain way. It is bribery. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. She's. Uh, it's not my place to say. Ah, so you're a coward. On your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, are you a statue? Ooh. shadows wander without flesh or bone. Yep. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Ooh. Don't steal anything, don't hurt anyone, don't. Well, all right, this didn't get a chance to finish, evidently. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. <laughs> Aiden Folk says she's alloy Most of now. Us have Very almost good. Nothing. Just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live. So, don't expect a warm welcome. Galeria, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Galerius, don't make Greetings, don't citizen. try and My name's Horatius. make us seem like we're the Magistrate same. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Bastard! I expect the Magistrate wants to brief you about the Golden Rule. The Golden it Rule? Take too long. Hmm? He's busy preparing for the election later today. Bastard! Follow me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. Uh, where'd you go, Horatius? Sorry, I was dealing with a pawn bot. Uh, I suppose it'll take some explaining to tell you what a pawn bot is, Horatius, but... Uh, oh, there you are. Basically, what it is is... Um, when I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. <laughs> they just divided us into groups of ten. 
made of straw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. It is far too early to be giving me a, a monologue like this. I'm sorry. Hello, you're in the city. The patrician wants to talk to you. Come this way. Here's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And here is exactly how it worked. Bloody hell. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. Oh, that's what decimating that means. seems like rough justice to you. You're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. So, all ten of you get got? The magistrate can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. Thank you. Oh, don't mind me. I just live... Jesus! Fuck! <laughs> I did not see you there. Hello! Ugh. I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Everyone here sucks. I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? I'm from the future, baby! Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Yeah, well, your now, eyebrows are possessed. Me, why are we having this conversation? Because you're an NPC in a video game, lady. Don't be superior to me. You're just a series of ones and zeros. Bye. I trust you can see yourself out. Wow, you suck. <laughs> Salve, citizen. Magistrate Sentius, hello. Ave. Ave. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? But. A curious name to match a curious accent. Mm -hmm. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of Athena. You must be a woman of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Matt Wetton says, Ancient Greek facts. Barbarian basically meant anyone who was not Greek. So the Romans, to the Greeks, would have been barbarians. Hmm. Ba, 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 barbarian. Barbarian. Matt Wetton says, Athena should be Minerva as they are Roman. Correct, Matt Wetton. I didn't clock that. You've admitted you copied someone's homework there, Magistrate. It's beautiful. Me. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Seven months? Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? They don't exist. Seven months. That's not a com that's not a civilization. That's not a community. There are student halls more close knit than you. Yes. Well, I'm not sure I believe that. Fuck you. But the reason for this this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. That's dreadful. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. 
we've come to call it. The, the golden, golden rule. rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. What? All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. Sure, I will, Magistrate, but first I will read out this super chat from Martin C, who says I had an interview before the stream started, and have just been offered the job! Here's your cup for giving me something to look forward to afterwards. Martin, congratulations, that's great news. Um, so it seems like you absolutely smashed that interview, so well done! Um, congrats, I hope your new workplace is delightful, and nicer than... This city. Okay, what counts as a sin here? Because I'm not going to lie, everyone here seems like a jackass. An intelligent question. Thank you. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. Oof. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying? Insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide. As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. About... Okay, you might want to sit down for this, but... Ab about the Roman Empire, Magistrate. Okay. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. What is legal isn't always moral, and many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric, where I'm from. D let's give as good as we get, frankly. I mean, I can understand that they're playing it safe because, like, if they sin, everyone turns to gold. It's not like, you know, we have three strikes and we're out. Hmm. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Civilizing. Rome is a beacon of light in the dark. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. Mm -hmm. We have comprehensive laws yeah, yes. protecting the rights of our citizens, yeah, okay. which have unified uh, uh, countless uh, uh, warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond. It's a unified, that's... To Judea, yeah, if we could go back to... citizens are treated the same, regardless of the colour of their skin or their sexual preference. Okay, well, Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are right. given food rations. It's sure, and but... And when they are wrong, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Okay. Our laws forbid treason, yep. murder, assault and rape, but, as well as theft and arson and so on. But then the treason bit... No bit. other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric? So. So. Because here's the thing, magistrate... Um, you used the word civilizing, an inflected verb, um, which is very subjective because you believe that you're bringing civilization to people. But how are you? How are you doing that? Is it through violence? The answer is yes. Don't your laws allow slave ownership? Of course. Black. What else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? But that's. And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. <laughs> Laws for their protection as well. What, like, do you put them in protective foam? Don't women have fewer of rights? Of course. But with fewer rights come fewer responsibilities. And the right <laughs> to be protected by their fathers and husbands. Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Don't your people watch blood sports? Occasion, but our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory, or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. 
I do not see the harm. But, 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 but. Listen, thank you for all the motorways, but... <laughs> Don't you persecute Christians? Uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome last year? It's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. You didn't answer my question, no. Where I'm from, we consider those things to be abhorrent. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. Okay. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies Trees, in tre the shadows. Treason. I'd be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. I mean, well, right now, Magistrate Sentius, uh, I'm all for turning every absolutely everybody to gold. You know, again, thank you for the motorways and for um, the baths. Um... But you were kind of fash, weren't you? I just... Uh, let's see, why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. <laughs> As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. Oh, the aqueduct, thank I you. I I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. Oh. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Fair enough. Um, it is quite refreshing, actually, that he's like, well, people will love to answer your questions. You're new here. You can walk up to anyone and ask them something. Whereas every other detective game I've played, you walk up to someone and they're like, who the fuck are you? You're not from around here. Fair enough. Was the Persephone? See, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Persephone, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. Uh oh. You don't belong in our time, do you? We've been sussed out. Uh, Will says, can't believe you'd say that the Romans, inventor of the Roman salute, big eagles on everything, and fascism are kind of fash. I know, I was speaking out of turn there, Will. Please forgive me. I'm from... A thousand years? That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? Uh oh. Well, I'd seen, I'd seen everyone's butts because I knocked you all over once you'd been turned I into statues. I imagined it, our downfall a thousand times, but it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. Doombiscuit says, okay, but for real, this guy's VA is doing an Oscar-worthy job. It's good, isn't it? It's, a, you know, it's there's a lot more humanity to it than just, I hear they're reforming the Dawn Guard. All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? Genuinely can't remember. I did see human remains in the Templar. Ah, I assume that was me. Mm. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? Meh. <laughs> I can't promise anything. This game is giving me all of the dialogue options I want from RPGs. Sh sure, pal, I'll try, but no promises. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore. What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Oh, oh, that was an absolutely incredible way of saying I've got, I've got no idea. That was brilliant. I'm, I need to bank that one. <sighs> Just to say fair enough. If I do this... If I understand Persephone's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Makes sense? Oh my god. Oh my god. Proserpina is John Connor. I'm a Terminator. There is no fate but what we make for ourselves. Holy shit. We need a biro and we need a doctor. <laughs> ah. ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? Eh. Doesn't seem like I have much choice. <laughs> Doom Biscuit. And uh, Will just teamed up absolutely perfectly there. Doom Biscuit went dun dun dun. But Will, using the same ingredients but with a completely different recipe, went dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. I suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self preservation. Me. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city. Talk to everyone. Help them, if it will win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. I think we've just been given the keys to the city. Um, we're going to start by investigating D's, Magistrate. Um, Nick Shinamo Smith has done a super chat saying, does that mean you need his cloak, his boots, and his chariot? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Ooh. I'll get right on it. I would say if I were a toady. I'll see what I can do. Oh, no, I will I will say that, so it'll prioritize the quest showing it's obje objective markers only. Dun-dun, dun-dun-dun. Ah, oh, 69 meters away. Nice. Ah, jump on circle. Perfectly normal button. This should be fine. Oh, yep, yeah, fine. In fairness, the leg hair on, on this guy, that's some really great detail. Like, this is a very pretty game. What were you two talking about? Sorry, what? Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. If he's making a last-ditch effort to pick up votes by talking to a woman, he's even more senile than I thought. Everyone knows women can't vote. Well, then it's probably not that. 
was it? What else would you be murmuring about on election day? Murmuring. Not my words. Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. And if I tell him you sided with that feeble old has-been, that you've been trying to undermine his hard-won victory, you'll have picked the wrong patron. Got it? I don't care about the election. Good. Then stay out of it. Nobody likes Caput Murday foreigners interfering in an election. Caput Murday? Broken poo? I'll be going now. Go on. Back down you get. Drop and give me 500. Two. Oh, it means shithead. Thank you. Caput is the head. Oh, I was thinking of Caput. Got it. Anyway, right. We were off to the temple. Hello, everybody. Alright, Horatius, chill out. Stranger, sod off. Keep an eye on things, Horatius. As always, Priestess. Any news about Centilla, Navia, or Kabash? No sign of any of them, I'm afraid. But we do have a newcomer. Strangely dressed woman. Pretty, though. Funny accent, too. A traveller from a faraway land, then. Seems that way. I'm right here. And let's make sure she feels welcome, shall we? You can do of that by priestess. do that by talking about me as if we're well, not talking about me as if I'm here, as if I'm not. You know what I mean? Fuck it. Lucy says hi, Johnny. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. How are you? We are solving a mystery in uh, 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 this ancient Roman city. Uh, we are in ancient Roman times, but we have a flashlight. Um. Oh, per capita, capital, etc. Says anonymous. Yeah. Dump. I really hope they do a Wild West game next because they've got the Batwing doors absolutely down. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I was going to say medical tools. What a strange name for a woman. A collection of barbaric-looking medical implements, including forceps and shears. Hello, Lucretia. Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Yulia. She was a good woman. Oh. Sorry I knocked you over 2,000 years into the future, by the way. What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. But... And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friends like that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. Well. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her. Or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Right. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. But how? And if I, if someone had been poisoned, I probably wouldn't balk at getting someone to nick something from someone else's stall. Because if murder's not going to do it, what is? You know. Lucy says, Desius is farmer, bro. <laughs> ah, Doom Biscuit says, it was Snack. Snack cannot commit sin. Snack have black eyes. Oh, yeah. 
That's a good point. Right. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Mm -hmm. Get me that Silphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric comfortuto and scratching his eyes out. Genetricum Fututor. Translate to English. Fututor means fucker, which I kind of assumed. Um, do, 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 do. Genetricum. Fututor. Mother. Motherfucker. Great. There it is. Motherfucker. Hmm. Right. Oh, I think if you mouse over, they'll translate. How do I mouse over on a PS5? I can't. I'll get right on it. I'll see what I can do. That's dangerous to... I'll get right well, on it. Come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Lucretia. Sorry you died, Yulia. I mean, why is nobody mentioned? Genuine question. This isn't me being... That's, that's a penis. Um, this isn't me being facetious. Why is nobody mentioned that there are already golden statues here? Like, that there is clearly evidence of some other people having done wrong and being turned into statues, you know? kind of feels like the sort of thing they would mention if they were on the brink of a crisis. Herbrack. Various dried ground substances. Mortar and pestle. Bam! Right then. Decius. Blood on your hands, mate. How'd you do? How'd you do? Of course. Of course the man who tried to extort the woman from the temple it has a Cockney accent. Of course that's what it is. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the Empire. I'm Dacius. Yay! All bare their legs. But we just have to carry on, don't we? Horrible, horrible, strange thing. We've just got to carry on, don't we? You mean, how did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. Let's hear it. All right. Well, you see, I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects liberated from the enemies liberate. of Rome. Liberate. Mostly sculptures, vases, the occasional slave, fetch a magnificent price in Roman high society, have myself a nice little shop in Rome just off the Forum. Lots of foot traffic and close to the docks. Good place to be when the fires broke out. See, about seven months ago, Arthur Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river. Arthur Rome? Barge. So I gathered my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, pretty young thing named a camphor, push it for me. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it. And I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coins. So I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest, and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. I chucked the girl. I chucked the girl. <sighs> My, uh, where's, it, where's it gone? Martin C says it's Billy from EastEnders. Accurate. That's a very good spot. Um... You of course I chose the car. There we go. I, mean, I can always buy a new slave girl if I still have my money. So I put my hand on the car, and I guess you realise what was happening because those pretty black eyes of hers go all white. Black eyes. And in one swift motion, she topples a whole bloody thing into the tie bar. Yes, mate. Let me go see where this is going. Will says, honestly, I haven't seen any evidence we shouldn't just let these assholes turn to gold. Agreed. Lucretia is good, but. 
apart from that. Actually, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. What's why? Only, what? I guess I must have hit my head or something, because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank, not far from here, with nothing in the world but a single silver coin. Sound, sounds like you got what you deserved. I couldn't agree more. I mean, sure, I'd lost a few thousand denarii, but I've already made it back, and this place is a veritable treasure trove. Mm. Look around you. There must be more gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. You're dreadful. Do you know a way out of here? Well, yeah. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tavern claims to know of a way out, but I'm not sure I trust her. Interesting. A little shady for my liking. Says you. Oh yeah, gotta watch out. Old Dacius has got your back though. Hey, I've got your back, mate. Come on, play. You gonna vote for me? Are you gonna? Are you gonna vote for? Mariolus. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? Pardon? Pardon? Follow up question, please. Let's talk about something else. I'm not gonna try and sway the election to fifty. 15 to 20 minutes after arriving. Certainly. Let's see. What do you... What do you... Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about a golden roll? Emma Benton says, Where are these people getting hair care products? That's a very good question. Uh, Burrito has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, how are you? Great to see you back in full swing. Apple Pro of nothing. I recently finished Deus Ex Mankind Divided and it's one of the most life-changing games I've ever played. Blimey, P.S. Elden Ring Hotas stream next? Oh, oh no. I mean, let me play Elden Ring on a normal controller first, at least. Um, I'm going to wait a while before I do anything about Elden Ring, because A, everyone's going to be covering it. Excuse me. And B, um, I want to give you a lot of chance to play it so I don't spoil it for you. Um, but even, maybe eventually I'll work up to it. I mean, a Hotas game... In an open world RPG, You'd just be holding forward for hours. Um, right. What do you think about the golden rule? It's terrible for inflation, is what it is. There's so much gold just lying around; it's practically worthless. At least down here. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth, but what I need is a bow. Just a simple composite bow. But just I'll innocent men. City from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to find one, bring it to me, and we'll talk. Oh, well, technically, yes, but that just means you'll need to be a little discreet. Oh, sure, I'll smuggle you a weapon. Thank you, friend. Thank you, friend. I'm not your friend. Give me your sylphium resin. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. What is, what is wrong with you? It's legal. Simply a question of supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. Take it, says the whisper. Hear what? Uh, are you sure you're feeling all right? Stop it! Stop with this! Things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. We don't want another Navia on our end. Bloody hell. What happened to Navia? She claimed the statue was a whispering to her. Nobody else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace and we never heard from her again. Mm. But I digress. Do you want this Sylphium or not? Yes, but not for a thousand denarii. That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? Tory. He's a Tory. Hmm? CookieCat94. Has <laughs> done a super chat saying, Can someone help me, can somebody help me translate Orbis Terrarum Ad Mihi from Latin? It would, we it would mean the world to me. Very good, Cookie Cat 94. I like it. Right. How about I just take it instead? Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule, and we'd share the same fate as the last lot who lived here. Okay. Is that what you want? So you, we do know about the previous lot. Take it and run. Take it and run. Ooh. Do we bluff? Or do we say, I'm going to take my chances? What do we reckon? What do we reckon? I'm 
kind of, kind of tempted to bluff. But this guy is like, bluff. Everyone's saying bluff. Do you think I don't know a bluff when I see one? Shit. Nice try. Martin C says, take your chances. This guy's a chancer. Yeah. How about I just take well, it instead? Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule. And we'd share the same fate as the last lot who lived here. Is that what you want? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, it worked. Don't you dare. Hello. Dacius' chest is locked. A shopping list. A. Here's a summary of things Decius plans to buy once he's escaped. Things to buy once I've escaped. Villa on the Aventine. Ram. Two-horse chariot. Seat on the Senate. Four-horse chariot. Villa on the Bay of Naples. Ten-horse chariot. Twelve, twelve, twelve slave girls pale and plump. Oh, oh! Thank you, Whisper. Tap square for a guide towards your objective marker. <gasps> That's where the Silphium resin is. Examine. A bottle of Silphium resin, an extremely valuable ancient Roman remedy for various afflictions. Will says, wait, did he write it backwards on the back? Follow the magistrate. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, whoops. Oh. Yes, I suppose we stole. Which one of you idiots did this? Whoopsie. Well, they called my bluff, didn't they? Don't you dare. Why didn't you just give it over? I guess extortion's a sin? Sentius! Hello! Uh, Will says, fucked it, mate. I'm not dead yet. We're going to catch Sentius. It'll be fine. Hello. Ah, shit. And... Are we, are we back home? Huh? Looper. Ah. Oh. Here he comes. Hello, friend. I'm the stu- Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I'm Butts, and we've had this conversation before. <clears throat> uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Well, shut up. Um... I didn't realise it's. Ba I basically now feel like I'm playing Disco Elysium again. Just saying really rude things. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Mm. Uh, sorry to have bothered you. Mm -hmm. No problem. Uh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. <laughs> what? 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 Hi, oh, yeah, nice to meet you. Oh, have we already met. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a drunk. Do you want a zip line? <laughs> I love it. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang onto the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. That is fucking. And if it doesn't work, the worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Audacious. Absolute, I absolutely love that in making this, so we're like, oh, we will need a way to get around. Sud it. Zip line. All right. See you around. See you around, Galerius. Thanks for the zip line, Andal.
I've, I think we just broke two ribs, but yeah, that was faster. Incredible. Delicious. Hello. Right. Now, the last time we saw you lot, you in particular, Aloy, were firing at people with a bow. So... It's very tempting just to steal it again straight off. Oh, fuck it, why not? Yep. What? Let's... Yep, 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 yep. Oh, Yulia's alive again. Oh, wait. Yulia! We can save Yulia! Yulia! Let's have a, wo have a word. Yulia, you'll need to... Ah, shit. I was just kind of curious. Ah! <laughs> well, this seems to be going fine. Look. Now, obviously, I shouldn't have done that. But the good news is that I probably won't do it again. You know? Like, we've done it now. So we can leave it at that. We're not going to steal the resin. We're not going to steal the resin a third time. You keep your inventory between loops, by the way, says Cameron Grant. Oh, shit! Yeah, where am I going? I will try to guide you. Okay, please do. Okay, right. Oh, sorry about it, Magistrate. You definitely will, probably, probably, maybe. Probably. Alright. Inventory. Let's go save Yulia! Amazing! Dying gasp. I've restarted the day, and now I'll need to get to Lucretia with the Sylphium before Yulia dies. Right! Get out of my way! Get out of my oh. way! Oh, is that right? Can't have you distress but you live. Don't worry about oh, me. Bye, Maverick. Yes, that's my kind of, my kind of achievement. Okay, all right. Go, 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 go! Speed run, poison antidote. Where is she? Oh crap. Uh, no, dying gasp. That's the one we want. Track highlighted quest. Where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, we are going the right way. No, run is on. Salutations to you, also, stranger. Hello. What are you doing in here? Get. Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. Get. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that Kulas Kumbolates Decius won't give it to me. Get. Here. Get. Quick, give it here. Yeah. Yulia, Yulia, you need to swallow this. Here, let me help you. Well, well, well. Seems like theft wasn't uh, wasn't such a bad idea after all. Hopefully, in a moment, she should be able to breathe normally. That was extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing and at this exact moment? Oh. You some kind of oracle. Well, I guess you could say I've been around a little bit. Yeah. Nick Jeffries done a super chat saying, "What even is this game? It seems utterly bonkers. Why? It's the Forgotten City. It's a very popular Skyrim mod turned into a standalone game, and um, I, I'm playing it pretty fast and loose. I'm not going to lie. You wouldn't believe me if I told you." Ah, uh, look. If you don't want to tell me, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. But no matter. That's that was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her, and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. Yes, um, uh, uh, I do he- Oh no, sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but- 
No, that is definitely not normal. Whispering statues there isn't one normal. Other okay. person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Nevia, and uh, she went a little mad. Do forget I said anything. Anything about what? Oh, she she honestly had me for a second there. Very, very good, Lucretia. What's your I'm story? Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Nevia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Hard same. Hard same. Oh, I relate to that line so much. Tired and out of my depth. I'm miserable all the time, but I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. Mwah. Incredible. Incredible world, look, world outlook. Oh. Okay. How did you end up here then? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. That seems bad. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. Yes, please. I could barely see for the smoke, and the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. Ah. The next thing I remember, I was waking Walking up, up on a riverbank, bank, not, not far, far from, from here. here. Yes, I see, I see. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. <laughs> and while there's no shortage of snakes here, mm -hmm. at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. Mm. So, tell me more about Navia. Ne Navia? Navia? Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too, until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. Hmm. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. Mm. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. Mm. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. Go on. He's become so irritable <laughs> that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Mm. I'll get right on it. Hold the phone. There are some clever people here in the chat. Garina Rain says you fell in the river. So did Al. Who is Karen? Anonymous says Karen or Karon. Garina Rain says, oh my god, Karon will, all in caps, says, are we sure that's the name of the person who keeps pulling folk out of a river? Will also says, fucking Karen? Captain Shiny says, Navia the Whisper. And I agree on Karen Caron, especially since Dacius woke, woke with one silver. Huh. Oh, Alex Thorold says, to be fair, someone got it straight away. I didn't, I didn't realise. Emma Benton, meanwhile, says, Caron, my husband, with the best hat. Behave yourself, Emma. Corio Malayam says, Caron is Greek, though. Yes, 
But also, uh, the magistrate earlier was like, well, if you don't have the eyes of Athena, who is also Greek, so, you know. Right. Um, I'll get right on it. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Let me know how you go. Right, until further notice, until Luc Lucretia has no more quests for us, this game is now Lucretia Quest. We're going to help her. Uh. But, right, let's let's have a look at our quest, though. Okay, point of origin. Behind closed... What's behind closed doors? The front door is locked. There must be another way in. That's interesting. Thorn... Mm, maybe we should try and... Okay. Uh... What do we reckon, chat? Do we want to sneak into the palace or cure rheumatism? Epic Space Bunny goes, well, there goes the big twist of the game. It's not it's not our fault that we're smart. Oh yeah, D2 Factotum says, shouldn't you talk to the woman whose life you just saved? Yes, probably. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, Vaz Lannis on Super Chat saying, can't wait to see what you think of this game. I'll catch up on VOD as I have to finish deep cleaning a school of fish. Um, good luck deep cleaning the school. Uh, thank you very much for the Super Chat. I really appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the VOD. Let's go Let's go back in there and talk to you, Leah. Salve. Hello. Oh dear, she's having a terrible day. In fairness, she was just nearly fatally poisoned. Um, and then we'll decide whether we want to sneak into a palace or cure rheumatism. Okay. Oh, apparently Karen is also in Roman literature. Uh, Matt Wetton says that Virgil references him in the Aeneid in the same role he had in Greek mythology. It's been ages since I read the Aeneid. Oh, it's you. Yes. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Uh, but thanks for trying to help me, I suppose. Was I there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. What do you mean, I suppose? As much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me, it's just not safe for me to talk about it. Please, no more questions. I want to know how someone poisoned you without breaking the golden rule. The golden rule? <laughs> That's the least of my worries. The gods may be cruel, but Maliolus and Claudia are far crueler. Well, well. Well, what is that who poisoned Please, you? Please, just leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. I can't help unless you tell me what happened. <sighs> Persistent as nemesis, aren't you? Ah. I can tell you, but... It's a long saga. Yes! Upsetting backstory! Here we go! All right. I'd been here about a week. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe, and I knew I had to get out somehow. Mm -hmm. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out, I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my friend. I told her it would take me years to save up that much. So she suggested I take out a loan from Maliolus. And I did. Does... Does anything here cost... Not a thousand denarii? Why would he lend you so much money? I had to sign an agreement, saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. Mm. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon it wouldn't matter. I paid Aurelia, and she gave me her so-called way out. Ah. Do you want to know what it was? Poison. Hemlock. Hemlock. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Drink this, she said, and you'll be out of here in no time. Of course, I demanded my money back, but she refused. She pointed to a sign on her tavern saying, Let the buyer beware. Caveat emptor? Then she just looked at me with those cool black eyes. Black eye? Mm. She laughed 
She immediately told Maliolus I'd tried to escape without paying him back. Only, he didn't seem upset or surprised at all. In fact, he just thanked her. And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the whole thing from the beginning. Dear, oh dear. Um, the Nice Witch, hello The Nice Witch, is in chat and says, Is this the game where they keep talking about the golden rule and I have to try not to make any piss jokes? <laughs> it is the game you're thinking of, The Nice Witch. Um, we'll see how we go on piss jokes. Um... Matt Wetton says, for those interested, a thousand denarii is about three years' wages for a labourer or soldier. One denarii per day was the average wage. Uh, and Nick Jeffrey has uh, done a super chat saying, she sounds very British for a Roman. But Nick, the Romans invaded Britain. And thus, a Britain's not by extension, sort of, Romans. Londinium is the city in which I live. Would that have tried to break the golden rule? Let's find out. That's what I said to the magistrate. Mm. I went to Sentius and begged for help, but he said the law was clear. I'd signed over my labour for 30 years and there was nothing he ah. could do. Mm. I thought about resisting too. But Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths. Uh -huh. So... He locked me in his villa, confiscated everything I owned as collateral, and made me wear immodest, humiliating outfits while I worked day in, day Sounds out. Sounds like Jabba the Hutt. His wife, Claudia, was just as bad. She sent me to work on an endless stream of futile, demeaning tasks. I'd be on my hands and knees, scrubbing the floor clean for hours. Only for her to pour slop on it and hiss, you missed a spot. Those two took everything from me. <sighs> but they forgot to confiscate one thing. My hemlock. So you poisoned yourself. I just wanted it to be over. But it seems I messed that up too. Should have drunk all of it. Well... We're not going to blame her, I don't think. I don't think saying you're not exactly innocent in all this is, is particularly useful at this juncture. Uh, what I will say is she doesn't need to worry that much because, you know, we can just loop and just go again, you know? I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met and tried to swindle the other. I don't know how I could have been so stupid. I'll leave you. I'll leave you to it. So what will happen to you now? When I've recovered. I expect their thug Demetrius will come for me. Ah. He'll escort me back to their villa, and I'll be right back where I started. That is Only a shame. this time, I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Honestly. It would have been better if the poison had been allowed to run its course. Bright and breezy, bright and breezy. Can I do anything to... Can I help in any way, Yulia? Woof. I doubt it. Okay. It seems this is the fate the gods have chosen for me. For trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. I mean, I can do that. Ah, how much would it cost to buy your freedom? A lot. But it doesn't matter. Oh my god. I... I made a suicide pact with Elpheus <laughs> last night. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Yep. Maliolus and Aurelius set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. Yep. He and I are in this together. Cool. He's probably already thrown himself from the bluff into Maliolus' villa by now. If so, I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise to him. Yep. 
Perhaps I can help him too. I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. I've got a zip I line, don't know actually. Who you are or why you seem so determined to help me, but thank you. You're welcome. I'll see what I can do. All right, but please don't take too long. So, I'll be going now. All right. Thank you again for saving my life. You're welcome, I suppose. Ooh, Ooh the floor's nice. So that's good. Um. Yes. May Apollo keep you safe. Thank you, Luc Lucretia. Yes. Grumbling Wolfman. Name's Wolfius. Better watch your step. Why? It's your story, pal. Can't talk long. Got to stay sharp, but uh, family's from Seleucia on Tibius. Babylon province. But I've been Roman a long time now. Even joined the legions. The sixth. The one they call Ironclads. So, uh, uh, Same way as everyone else. Uh, I fell into the river, got it. Because we're all in grave danger. Is it not obvious? Well, if you... Why don't you have a... Why don't you have a weapon? We're not allowed to have a weapon. Mm. Magistrate made me toss it in the chasm. Stupid. Going to have to improvise now. Yeah, it's a bottle of ghost. If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. Why don't you talk to me about it? Are you suffering from rheumatism? Nobody is supposed to know about that. <sighs> Did Lucretia tell you? Yes, there you are. Hello, I figured it out on my own. I have been specially trained to smell out rheumatism. Gah. Look, I haven't been at my best lately. All my joints ache constantly, and, and the pain, it has a way of messing with your head. I get stirred up by things that shouldn't bother me, and then there's the statues, and my doubts about my faith, and I just, I just want to scream. You want to help me? Do what Lucretia hasn't been able to do, and find me something. Make the pain go away. Until then, get out of my face. Okie dokie. I do like your eyeshadow, though. It's kind of like the wing-tipped sort of thing you've got going on there. That's nice. Um, gosh, everyone's... The magistrate, right, is up there being like, Oh, it's wonderful here. We've 22 people and in seven months. No one's done a sin. It sucks here. It sucks. It's bad. What does this say? The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. That's not that's not an ordinary street sign, you know? Like, um So, what street do you live on? Oh, I live on the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, okay, yeah. Which 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 number? Oh, four. Oof. Are they? Are they? It's like Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Are you going to are you going to conjure me a, a med pack? A new face. Hello. Alve. Vesta, watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? I came out of a river the same as everyone else. Tell me your life story, please. Oh my. I take it people are quite direct where you're from. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal an Christus and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? Yeah, well, baby, I'm pretty unusual. I'm in a hurry. Come oh, on. A hurry, you say? Well, in that case, <laughs> let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing <laughs> change. Great. Life story, then. Come on. Cough it up. You know, I'm not entirely sure. What about you? How did you end up here? 
It's not about me. A young woman named Karen dragged me out of a river unconscious and sent me in here. Karen, you say? Mm. And nothing about that name seemed odd to you? Well, there's the, the memes. I think I see where this is going. You do? Well then, have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? Yes. I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember and see if you notice any patterns. She's she sounds like a primary school teacher. Like in that kind of like like do you like that leaf? Well, I tell you what, why don't you go around and see how many other ones you can uh, discover and we'll see how many different types of trees there are. Okay, off you go, Jonathan. There we go. I know. I know. I just don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you too. Well, what happened to Livia? Up until a few weeks ago, she was a perfectly productive member of our little community, darning clothes and cutting hair. She was always so chatty, always seeking out newcomers and asking them where they were from and how they wound up here. I see. Again, about a month ago, she suddenly changed. She withdrew, stopped working and became despondent started muttering to herself. Mm -hmm. Galerius and I visited her to see how we could help. Oh, Galerius. He just looked at us. I'm sure that helped. Haunted stare, called us bloodless shadows and told us we were ignorant of some pattern. Look, it could be unrelated. Perhaps she simply fell ill. Or, as Galerius suggested, the weight of the golden rule was too much for her. But there is a small chance that she learned something, saw a pattern nobody else saw, and that it broke her. I just don't want to see that happen to you. So be careful, will you? No. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. Now, go and follow the thread of truth through this labyrinth, and come back to me if you discover any patterns. That's another Greek myth, isn't it? The labyrinth, the thread, Theseus, the Minotaur. It's another... It's the golden rule that you shouldn't admit that you're secretly Greek. I'll see what I can do. So, what's the status of the election, eh? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? Just curious. What's your role? Can I nominate okay. another... Assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. Yulia. <laughs> Let's select Yulia. Who's allowed to All vote? the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. Unless they're running, of course. Hmm. Hmm. That's just the way it's always been, I'm afraid. It never sat right with me, either. There are some women who can vote. Vestal priestesses like myself. But in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided to abstain. Oh, that's nice. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. <laughs> <laughs> Who can vote? Oh, the men. And me. But I'm not voting. I, 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 I need to. I need everyone to see how impartial I'm being. But if you want to throw the election, I can absolutely tell you. By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Oh. Nothing untoward, of course. Never mind. So, what's I'm your? I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. Okie dokie. Can we, can we start the election now? As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. But I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. Not really. I just want to get it over and done with. Never As mind. You wish. Well, yeah, we'll um, we'll come back to that. Certainly. I've been asking people about how they wound up here. Well, we haven't really. We're still come here, back to right? Me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbours. Hmm. Johnny, is that your cat singing in the background? Singing is an interesting way to talk about what Luna's doing. Luna is screaming. Keeping an eye on things, Horatius? As always, Priestess. Any news about Centilla, Navia, or Kabash? No sign of any of them, I'm afraid. But we do have a newcomer. Do you? 
strangely dressed woman. Pretty though. I'm right here. I'm right here. From a far away land, then. Yes. Yeah. Then let's make sure she feels welcome, shall we? Hello. Hello. Rude. Rude. I will try to help you. Thank you, statue. Ridiculous. Come. So rude, all of them. Ah, Rufius. Ooh! Was that a burp, Rufius? Goodness me. What else we got? Ooh, some form of... this. I mean, this looks bad. What is this? Seek a bow. Note from Navia. I'm locking myself in. Don't try to follow me. Nothing good will come of it. Navia. Alright. Oh yeah, we can try and get in, can't we? Behind closed doors. There must be another way in. Fletched arrows. Good. The assassin's bow. Said the whisper. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. We seem to be being guided away. Interesting. Tony Doak has done a super chat saying, I thought we were supposed to be avoiding political topics, but here we are, rigging an election. Next next step, the plan for economic reform. You betcha. But first, a zip line. Thank you very much for the super chat, Tony Doak. I hope you are well. What is this? Bread. Some sort of parchment. Hmm. Oh, well, there's no one here to ask about getting pulled out of a river, so... Oh! It is no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilations. Len ventilation, but Romans probably regard that as their servant's problem. Yes, well. Okie dokie. Let's see. Anybody... Anybody in? Octavia's chest, eh? Note to Octavia. Directions to a secret shrine. Enter the caves behind the theatre, then turn right at the first fork and the second. An anonymous friend to Octavia. May the Lord bless and keep you. I am so sorry I could not risk discussing this with you in person, but if I am right, then you're a believer like me. You may not be able to worship openly here, but I know that you're not alone. If you ever feel like you need someone to pray, somewhere to pray, rather, there's a special place waiting for you deep in the caves behind the theatre. Turn right at the first fork, and again at the second. Uh, not going to lie, the word turn in this typeface looks like a completely different word, especially if you screw up your eyes a little. So, um, there we go. Right. Do we steal 40 denarius? We will have We will have to loop. Fuck it, yes, we're doing it. The many shall suffer the sins of the one. Da -da -da -da. Follow Sentius back to the shrine and use his portal again. But right, we're on the way to earning a thousand denarii. Ow! Who shoot me with an arrow? Rude. Ow! Christ. Ah, oh, no! I died! You are dead. Continue from last save. Dang. Come back to me. You must well as you have closed yourself with the rest of our neighbors. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, right, so what were we doing? Damn it. Behind closed doors. Where are we off to? Keeping an eye on things, There she is. Oh, as always, we've got a newcomer. She's kind of fit, but she looks weird. 
Yes, yes. Ugh. Right. Okay. So we want the flat, the fletched arrows. We're going to read the note. Uh, behind closed doors. That's what we're tracking. We're finding another way in. We're seeking a bow and setting ourselves on fire. Incidentally, good, good, good. Do do do. Thank you, Whispering Statue. Come on, helpful butterflies. Seek a bow. Where will one be? Oh. I keep trying to run and I keep crouching. Epic Space Bunny asked a good question. Can you continue to steal things after the first... How much would you want to make me a bow? Shh. Um, Epic Space Bunny says, can you continue to steal things after the first sin is committed? Like line up a thievery route on the way to the portal door. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I did just get shot to bits, so... I'm not sure... Oh! Help! You have to do something! Okay. A man arrived in the baths. A real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. A weapon? You have to do something, or he's going to break the golden rule. Hmm. I'll get right on it. Thank you. He's still in there, somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. No, says the Whisper. Maybe we shouldn't what? meet in there. We don't have time for this. I have to go. <laughs> okay, well, it's bad news for her, I think. The statue didn't want me to agree the to what she... The shrine is collapsing! Bom 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 Fabia, no. Oh Fabia oh, no. She's dead Did anyone see that? The whole shrine just collapsed on her Oh Fabia Why did you have to go in there? Poor sweet girl <laughs> It appears to be freely available to anyone who wants it that's one hell of a way of saying I found this on a dead woman. It's ours now. Thanks, Fabia. Ooh, what's this? Warning. Beware. Shh. <laughs> Shrine may collapse at any moment. Oh, Fabia. Well, dang. Oh. I guess we'll... I guess on the next loop, we'll have a reason to say don't do that. Holy well. I think on that note, we should take a little break. How about that? Five to seven minute break. Um, uh, you know you know the drill by now. Um, excuse me. Oh, goodness. I'm having a five to seven minute break. Um, do you need anything to drink? Are you warm enough? Are you comfortable? Um, if there's anything you can do in the next five, seven minutes that will make the uh, enjoyment of the rest of this stream more good, more enjoyable uh, for you, then you should do that. Um, if you're all set and you're not going anywhere, um, then uh, there'll, there'll be some smooth jazz and a picture of my dog, so I do enjoy that. Uh, and I'll be back yeah, in five to seven, so um, catch you then. D don't go anywhere unless you are going somewhere in which case go there and you'll have a nice time and it'll be fine alright bye
Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, this this little old live stream here on here on uh, youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. Um How was your break? I put a jumper on. Well, so I made a little sandwich and I ate it with my human mouth. Anyway, um, well, says nice hoodie. Thank you. It's new actually. Uh, it was he heavily reduced and I quite like it. It is not quite a mustard colour. But I like it anyway. Anyway, right. Uh, that's the wrong... That's the right button. There we go. Um. Oh, I'm glad you all like the jumper. Hmm. Anyway, right. So. Resume. Uh, there's somebody in the Roman baths with a weapon. We need to get the weapon. Ah, shit. Hey. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? This sounds like a radio advert. Stop right there. I'm looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Available for this weekend with 0% finance for five years. After that, subject to 4.6% APR. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Mabel Teaches says of Tiberius Quinctius Crispus. I know he's delicious. I know that much. <laughs> lol, lol, lol. I enjoyed that. Tiberius Crispus Quinctius Crisp. Crit. Crisps. Alex A says, You got a bag of quavers, mate. I mean, there is a great video on the channel about crisps if you haven't seen that already. Anyway, right. <clears throat> I don't know a Quinctius. I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. <laughs> I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find <clears throat> and execute the cultist Quinctius for <laughs> terrible crimes against the Empire. <laughs> so, if you tell me the truth, I will allow you to <clears throat> But if you lie to me, or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in any way, I will put this arrow through your chest. If you Is want... understood? If you want an arrow through the chest, press 1. If you don't want an arrow, arrow through the chest, and you will tell me where Quinctus is, press 2. To hear these options again, press 3. I swear I wasn't lying? Thank you. <laughs> now tell me, who are you people, and what is this place? This is the best thing ever, ever. Who are you people, and what is this place? Get your fucking hands off me, I'm a classically trained actor. Oh, how very welcoming of you. You want me to let my guard down, is that it? <laughs> You're not going to get your claws into me. I love this! I was told Quinctius was a cultist, but I never thought he'd be foolish enough to lead me right to the heart of his mystery. To please talk to me some more, assassin. Oh, don't play coy with me. I don't care if you're worshipping Bacchus, Magna Mater, or Christ. You lot are all the same to me. <laughs> Always sneaking off to your secret sanctuaries, indoctrinating each other with your little mantras. <laughs> the Emperor may have tolerated your activities up until now, but after what Quintius did, those days are numbered. <laughs> You could be worshipping Bacchus, Magnus Mater, or Christ. It makes no difference to me. Oh. <laughs> you say that, but if you're not a cult, then why go to such great lengths to keep this place a secret? You say that, but if you're not a cult... <laughs> uh... 
<laughs> Captain Shiny says, To denounce your neighbours, press 1. To reveal the locations of suspected Christians, press 2. To apply to join the legions, press 3. <laughs> so you admit you're not allowed to leave. Oh my god. Threatening me is not going to help you, but in any case, that sounds an awful lot like a cult to me. And I saw the inscription saying, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I take it this is some kind of mantra you all believe? This sounds like David Frost! <laughs> oh ho! Oh ho! REC says, if you've been involved in a river base accident, <laughs> you may be entitled to compensation. Why not consolidate your laws into one simple monthly golden rule? Uh, a distinction without a difference. You've clearly been indoctrinated into this nonsense. Now tell me, where did you lot get enough gold to make all these statues? <sighs> you lot are practicing human sacrifice too. You people disgust me. We didn't turn them to gold. If God did it, we don't know which one. Of course you'd say that, but that's what your kind do, isn't it? Our God told us to do it. It's all clear to me now. The secret sanctuary, the indoctrination, the mantra, the human sacrifice. You're, You're cultists. cultists. There's no doubt in my mind. What baffles me is how a person can believe in something with such zeal. They just can't see what they've become. However, you still have a chance to redeem yourself by telling me where Quintius is. Do not waste it. Do not waste it. What can you tell me about Quintius? Very well. Here's what I know. He's a 40 to 50 year old man with distinctive eyes, one green and one blue. He's also known to have delusions of grandeur. The Emperor says he and his cult, your cult, are responsible for starting the fire which burnt half of Rome to the ground and killed thousands in the process. <sighs> Perhaps the Emperor was looking for a scapegoat. Who are you to challenge what the Emperor says? Were you there? Do you have spies and scouts all over Rome, like he does? No, you do not. This is your last chance. Are you going to tell me where he is or not? Apply to be a spy or scout for the Emperor and we'll send you this free pen. I don't- I've no idea who the Emperor is. Then you're of no use to me. Uh-oh. Do you have any last words? Uh, do you? Cool. Uh, if you fire that arrow, everyone here is going to die. You wouldn't said you wouldn't kill me if I told you the truth. Jesus Christ, you're an idiot. It's quite funny because he's going to be like, you are a cultist. I knew it. Aha, uh -huh. I knew it. There it is. Now it's my turn to tell you something. Once I'm done with you and Quintius... I intend to kill every last one of you wretched degenerates. And I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Give me your boat! Give me your boat! Damn it! Dickhead! Eh! Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yep, run. Do run. How do we get... Okay. Uh, how d how do we get his bow? Also, yes, steal. Yes, it turns out you can just do a crime spree. But now I need to escape alive. <clears throat> it's 120 meters. I would like to escape alive. I don't really fancy doing the loop again. Oh shit! The bed. What is ah zipline zipline? No! Shit. Continue from last save. Oh. Help! 
You have to do something. <laughs> Not this again. The man arrived in the baths. Real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's going to break the golden rule. Yeah, don't worry about that. I'll get right on it. Thank you. He's still in there. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. I have to hide. No. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. No. No. Hear what? What? We don't have time for this. I have to go. <sighs> well, if you're just joining us, enjoy... And you're watching this for the first time. Enjoy. The shrine is collapsing. Boo -doo -boo -boo. Okay. Well, that went badly. West Coast Weaver says, take the bread. Of course, we'll take the bread. Papia, oh. no. Oh, God, she's dead. Did anyone see that? The whole shrine just collapsed on her. Oh, Fabia, why did you have to go in there? Poor sweet girl. Okay, now again, with a little more, if you please. No? Okay, thank you. Uh, don't call us, we'll call you. Right. Fabia? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! This time... Oh, no. Here she is. Fabia, search. Loaf of bread. A circular loaf of bread designed to be pulled apart into wedges. It appears to be freely available to anyone who wants it. Amazing. Good luck or a quick death has done a super chat. Um, as is good luck or a quick death want. Just sort of cruising in, leaving a super chat, and, uh, and, and disappearing. Well, not disappearing, just staying silent. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um... Soma Brufted says, How the F do you have a torch? We're from the future. Don't worry about it. Basically, it's a like... We're trapped in here. There's a golden rule. If the golden rule is broken in any way, shape or form, everyone gets turned to gold. Um, uh, when that happens, I sort of just start again and have to... Basically, I have to try and stop somebody from committing a nasty. Anyway. <coughs> Hello. I'm an assassin. Stop right there. <laughs> I'm looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you, Do know, you where know where he is? I don't know a Quinctius. I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. <laughs> I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find and execute the cultist Quinctius for terrible crimes against the Empire. So, if you tell me the truth, I will allow you to live. But if you lie to me, or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in, in any, any way, way, I will put this arrow through your chest. Is that understood? Yes. Got Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> now tell me, who are you people? And what is this place? Thank you. Okay, got it. Now tell me, who are you PayPal? A small community. <laughs> I was told Quinctius was a cultist, but I never thought he'd be foolish enough to lead me right to the heart of his mystery cult. <sighs> you say that, but if you're not a cult, then why go to such great lengths to keep this place a secret? <laughs> That's the exact kind of thing a cult would say. <laughs> Buddy Wrongleg says, Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. So you admit you're not allowed to leave? Well, no, you're twisting my words. We can leave if we want. Should we lie? Should we? Let's lie. You're a terrible liar. Shit! So none of you are allowed to leave. Fascinating. That Ooh. sounds an awful lot like a cult to me. And I saw the inscription saying, The many shall, shall suffer, suffer for the sins of the one. I take it this is some kind of mantra you all believe? <laughs> Grumble says, Assassin, added to backing area. Ah, uh, yes, it's because it's true. Yeah, You've sure. clearly been indoctrinated into this nonsense. Now tell me, where did you lot get enough gold to make all these statues? 
They were go once people who were turned to gods. You lot are practicing human sacrifice too. No. Human people disgust me. Honestly. Yes, yes. Because I'm the real villain here. Your name it's is Assassin! Now. The secret sanctuary. Look the at you! Nation, the mantra. Oh, the oh. Sacrifice. I'm the villain, Your yes. Go oh, I'm the villain. Manner. Says the Assassin. What baffles me is how a person can believe in something with such zeal. They just can't see what they've become. However, you still have a chance to redeem yourself by telling me where Quintius is. Do not waste it. <sighs> What's it going to take for you to let this go? Gold? <laughs> I don't care about gold. You don't seem to understand the situation. So let me make it abundantly clear. The only thing I care about is carrying out my duty to execute the cultist Quinctius. I have spent many exhausting months tracking this arsonist through cities and villages, roads and forests, <laughs> bribing stubborn travelers and peasants for leads. <laughs> At times, I was so well and tired I could have sworn I'd approached the brink of death. But still, day and night, I pressed on for the glory of the Emperor. So, you see, I know he's here. Turning back is not an option. And right now, the only thing standing between me and is you. I so, try. <laughs> for the last time, are you going to tell me where he is? I tracked him through Luton Airport Parkway, Bedford, Kettering, Wellingborough. Leicester, Loughborough, Long Eaton, and Derby. <laughs> I don't know where. I don't know where he is. Then I... <laughs> no use to me. Do you have any last words? Um. And there's a simple explanation for that. I, I lied. lied. But if you want to know the truth before you die, huh? oh, here, here, it it is. Is. here it is. Once I'm, I'm done, done with you. you yes, I intend to kill every, every last, last one of you wretched, wretched degenerates. degenerates. Understood. And I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. Oh, I feel a bit sick. <laughs> the many shall suffer. Bye. The of the one. Sons of dis, indeed, asshole. New main goal. Run. Hello. She's it. Oh, wow. I feel sick. Ow! I feel sick. Okay, so there clearly is a way to... Um... Ah, don't kill me, please. I don't want to go through that again. Oh, sorry about it. Sorry you died. Oh. Clearly, there is a way to uh, get the bow off the assassin because we need that. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wooden Coyote says, I love how wildly different the VA skills are. This guy is doing Shakespeare in the park, the stranger is doing local Italian pizza commercial. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, updated main goal. Done. Right. So, main goals. Point of origin. Create a time paradox. I'll be good. Plum, plum, Yep. Uh, what's this one? Find out, find out who's most likely to break Golden Rule. I mean, option. Tell Sentius about the assassin. Yes, we should do that. Here he comes. Hello! Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Uh. Oh, you sound serious. I'm listening. Oh! Ah, oh, yeah! Yulia. Oh, no. All right, I can do that. Errand boy acquired. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. No. <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, oh, Nelly. Right. Eh. Zip line. Off he goes, look. Goody two shoes. Okay. Oh, my head hurts a little bit from laughing so much at that assassin. Once I'm done with you, I'm going to kill every one of you degenerates. Okay. Where is Sentius? Where where can I find Sentius? Where are the helpful butter butterflies? Ah, oh, there you are. Is proof of a degenerate mind. Fuck you, Horatius, you bastard. Fuck off. Oh yeah, it's up here, isn't it? Hello again, you. I'm Lordy Deekstra. Fuck off. <laughs> if you don't want an arrow in the face, press one. If you do want an arrow in the face, press two. Hear these options again, Geralt. Press three. We're finally alone. <clears throat> I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? Yes, yes, yes. Um, Butterscotch says, So I guess the game didn't want let you name your character Butts. Oh, no, it did, but we just called ourselves Butts with a V because it's more Roman. I'm Butts, and we've had this conversation yeah. before. Wait, if I understand correctly... Someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here. I must have entrusted you. That's right, baby. The culprit is. Mm -hmm. Only, I assume, we failed. And you had to start over. Yes, it wasn't my fault. Is that about right? Yes. If so, what happened? Assassin. I couldn't. Ah, uh, I see. Mm -hmm. Look, it's unfortunate. Yep. But all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. Yes. How do I tell him about the... Can we talk of about course. this? What is it? I think I know who it's going to be. Yes. It's the assassin. <laughs> Now, listen here, Magistrate. I have a hunch as to who might be about to break the golden rule. It might have something to do with the assassin who arrived in the city this morning. An assassin? What are you talking about? Yes. Then what are you doing here talking to me? Why aren't you out there trying to stop him? You'd best go. Quickly. I don't know where Quinch is. It? I hereby declare him an enemy of Rome and authorize his execution by your hand. Forthwith. How would I execute him? Any way you can. Okay. Despite my weapons ban, it's been my experience one can always find a weapon if one looks hard enough. Shit ban, isn't it? I don't believe so, no. It's not a crime to carry out the lawful order of a magistrate. Well, well. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. You, please act quickly before it's too late. I mean, so... Now says main goal, execute your suspect. The assassin's too obvious. It's clearly also got to be someone else, right? Right? <laughs> Will says I can see a massive weapon right now. There he is, look. Right, so what are we doing? Oh yeah, execution. Execute your suspect. It's all up to me. Okay, well how do we do this though? Because last time, he just, he nearly killed me by making me laugh a lot, and then nearly killed us with a bow and arrow. So... Oh, this place has become a thoroughfare. Well, fuck off, Sentia. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Bye. I trust you can see yourself out. REC says let's murder him anyways for the bow. It's a good point. Let's do it. See if we can. 
<clears throat> what do you mean you're going to try and execute me? That's laughable. I've got a bow. Oh. Ah. Yes. Well, now hopefully we should be able to save Lid. Lid. Li was it Lid? Fabia? Fabia from. Um. Because she's about to be all like, help! Oh no, wait, have I gone? Yeah, here help. we go. You have to do something. A man arrived in the baths, a real nasty sort, with his face all covered up, and he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's going to break the golden rule. How? I don't have a weapon. None of us do. The magistrate yes. made us throw them all into the chasm. So now this man's bow is the only one in the city. Jazzy B says... You just have to improvise. Oh, improvise. Okay. Jazzy B says, Ziggy says you have a 50% chance of success. I'll get right on it. Thank you. He's still in there. Okay, somewhere. yep. Yep. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Na about that. No. No, 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 no. Fabia, do not go in there. Um... <laughs> West Coast Weaver says, let's go take our agent XLVII. <laughs> what? Why? It's about to fall. <sighs> All right, um, fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. Phew. We saved her from dying in that uh, crumbly temple. Fuck! I thought I'd at least try and get to run away. <sighs> oh, cool. Last checkpoint was there. <sighs> Fucking hell. I can't. Should we try and find a... Maybe we should try and find a weapon first. Let's see if we can kill him with our bare hands. Because there's only so many more times I can hack talking to this guy. <laughs> Stop right there. I'm looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus. Otherwise known as... Quinctius. Do you know where he is? <laughs> it's a birthday. We was a countdown host. What was his fucking name? Richard Wiley. <laughs> it's a, he sounds. He sounds, <laughs> sounds like Richard Wiley. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now, but you'd best make sure oh, oh. Don't, cry. <laughs> don't Oh, gross, sorry. Thunder Cookies done a super chat saying the trap works, now lure in the auto assassin. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yes, before the break, we gave you uh, that anagram. Um, uh, what is it the letters uh, rearranged to? Assassin, that's right. Uh, hope, hope everyone at home got that. <laughs> did it, did it, did it, did it. Buh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Dude, Biscuit says, look at his walk cycle. I'm losing it. It's great, isn't it? Oh, 
Fucking hell. Where is he? Curse you, cultist. <laughs> oh, sh yes. Wood and bow. Take the item. Bounty notice. Take the item. Fletched arrow and denarius. Doodle do 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 do. Holy shit. Skills loading says coincidentally assassins is a nine letter word and would therefore be perfect for countdown. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Hey there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. No idea how you managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban, but I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. But I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Go on. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? The statues come to life and fire golden bows arrows. Here I was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. In any case... Supposedly, one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man into gold. Now, of course, that is a travesty. A terrible, horrible waste of human life, which has to be stopped. And but... Yet, on the other hand... But... I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella, Aesop. The goose that laid but, the golden egg. With the ability to transmute organic matter into gold, one could create infinite wealth. Use your imagination. Ah, animals, insects, trees, and plants. The Midas touch without the drawbacks. Well, you need to draw back a bow to fire it, don't you? Even if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, half of infinite wealth is still infinite. Interested? But I'm inter I think I do think the golden goose is meant to be a cautionary tale. Look, I might have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Are you interested or not? But... This sounds gross. Oh, I'm not suggesting we use such a bow on people. There's no profit in breaking the golden rule. In that case, go on. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you familiar with the story of the goddess Diana? The Huntress? Chaos says, you fool, the value of gold comes from its rarity. You'll collapse the economy, you fool. <coughs> Not really. No problem. Allow me to explain. Please do. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, yeah. the air, and the underworld, depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. Golden so arrow. happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? <laughs> Is it a golden bow? Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking, you know what? <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. God's no. If you tried that, we'd all be dead within moments, I'm right. sure. No, here's what I propose. You give your bow to me. I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of a golden bow. Then, you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft, exactly. It's more of a... a trade. That's theft. But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Now, you must have questions. Ask away. Yeah, why such a fucking mug? I'm more of an ideas man, whereas you're obviously the more resourceful and heroic type. I have complete confidence in you. But... But... Um, isn't that extremely dangerous? When Prometheus stole fire from the gods and became a hero to all mankind, do you think he was worried about the danger? Prometheus was also punished for eternity, if I caught correctly. Only because he was silly enough to get caught. This guy sucks. Because the gods would see you, of course. Hence, my proposal. Alright, well, well, we'll do it. Because, you know, 
So, we can loot. Are you in, partner? I'll do it, but don't ever call me partner. Wonderful. Now, if you'll hand over your bow, I can get started applying a layer of gold leaf. This is a quality weapon. Now, bear with me for a moment. But... But... And here we are. A gold leaf bow. That was quick. Ooh. Fake golden bow. Why is fake in inverted commas? Is it actually real? Unlock the shrine of Diana for you. So as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods not watch over you. Oh, which street is this? Is this uh, the many will pay for the sins of the, the few? Street. Wooden Coyote says carries gold leaf and a tiny brush in his pockets at all times just in case. In fairness, Wooden Coyote. Gold, not in short supply here. Um, and gold leaf, fancy. Slap it on a steak, why not? You know? Why? Now, if you just go into the shrine of Diana... Oh! I mean, if you just... Shrine of Diana... The shrine of Di... Those are some big fucking cobwebs. And some enormous... Ah, wasps! Ah. If I extinguish... I always say this wrong. The braziers? Yes, that is the way you say it. Then the wasps are going to come after me, aren't they? John Freeman just said that statue moved. Which one? Which statue moved? You missed the statue's turning to look at you? What? Oh. Oh, fuck! They do it! Fuck off! Oh, they do it when you're not looking. I've been hearing that noise this whole time. Fuck off! <laughs> Is that you, partner? Do you have the bow? Wonderful. Just go ahead and slide it under the door for me and I'll unlock it for you. Throw me the idol, I'll throw you the whip. And yet you did. And now, here we are. With me out here, and you in there. Until you give me my bow. <laughs> no, technically, I never said that. I said, if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, infinite wealth is still infinite. It's hardly my fault if you can't tell the difference between a hypothetical and a promise now, is it? Oh, I do love a good loophole. Oh, I love a loophole. Not a very effective threat, is it? See, your first problem is you're in there and I'm out here. Your second problem is the golden rule. What are you going to do? Kill us all? It's an empty threat. It really isn't an oh, empty threat, mate. Now, and don't even think about giving me the fake one. I'll recognise my own handiwork. Uh, Levi Coffey has done a super chat saying, we'll watch VOD slash donate to Ukrainian aid too, but here's something to, for, for continuing to do what you do. Thanks for being freaked out for us. You're very welcome. Even if I gave it to you, you'd probably just leave me in here. Forget it. Hmm. I would reconsider my position quickly if I were you. I'm not sure if you noticed. But there's bees. But stuck in there with but... There's a hornet's nest. It's rather aggressive to all intruders. You know, some say it takes 27 hornet stings to kill a man. But I always wondered how anyone could have known that. Let's find out how many it takes to kill a woman, shall we? Here is something you can understand. How hornets can kill a man! 
This is a bad idea. <gasps> now it fucking isn't. But, but, oh. And now we go. And now we go. Well, well, well. Hello, corpse. Fletched arrow. Oh my god, we could turn people to gold. Alex Thorold says, mate, the hornets don't care. We're all just vibing in here. Alex Thorold, have you been a collection of hornets this entire time? Like, are you a series of hornets that are just, like, pressing keys with their stingers to type? Just curious. Alex Thorold says, maybe. There we go. Well, this is different, isn't it? Got some denarius. Got 112 now. We're we're more than 10% of the way to finding or to buying one thing. The algae? What about the algae? What? What about the algae? Why couldn't you whisper to me about the algae before? What about the algae? Oh. I get it. I get it. That was bloody scary, so it was. Boing! No, I don't get it. <sighs> Alex Sorrell says, fun fact, some of us are big enough to knock over a can of Guinness. Oh, good for you lot. There we go. And again. Oh, but wait, hang on. Whoop! Wah, 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 wah. There we go. Good, good. Oof. Now, of course, the question is, am I breaking the golden rule if I use a golden bow to turn somebody to, somebody to gold? Because if not, I am absolutely gonna 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 shoot thingy. What's his name? My beloved Galatea, I write this so that one day, when we're finally together, you will understand what I've done and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad or a monster, but I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here, I'm doing for you. I'll start at the beginning. Soon after my arrival here, as I walk down a corridor lined with gold. Oh, I see. <laughs> my beloved Galatea. I was like, how? I write oh, Christ. My beloved Galatea. 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 Everything I do, I do it for you. Anyway, I'll start at the beginning. You will understand. Oh, Jesus. And why I had to do it. <sighs> the others will call me mad or a monster. Oh, for fuck's sake. No! Fuck! I write this so that one day, when we're finally together, yeah. you will understand what I've done yeah. and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad yeah. or a monster. Yeah. But I don't care what they think. Uh huh. Everything I'm doing here, I'm I do it for you. I'll start at the beginning. Yeah. Soon after my arrival here, as I walked down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard a whisper behind me. A rasp of air, as if vocal cords of metal strained to say a word or two. I tried to dismiss the idea, tried to concentrate on my work. Monster Vigil sent a super chat saying, As someone doing a classics degree, I'm very glad to see you playing this. Once spent a fun afternoon translating all the Latin swears for a friend. Thank you very much for the super chat, Monster Needle. What a good friend you are to be translating the Latin swears for somebody. Oh dear. Oh. I, I'm re I am very glad we're playing this. 
Weeks later. Oh, it's so horrible! I heard it again and found myself drawn Oops. to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola. <laughs> Her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and disturbingly, it was as if she was looking right at me. As I walked past her, I heard that strained whisper again. Surely we can't make that jump. I discovered that even though I had moved, she was still looking Maybe we can. right into my soul. That was when it dawned on me. Oh. This was no statue. This was, was a, a woman trapped, trapped, within, trapped a within a golden prison. Naturally, I told the others. Uh -huh. But when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. But from that moment on, I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within these statues are living human beings. Oof. It was that day, my life, that my heart broke. Look into my eyes, you will see what you mean to me. Oh, Will says 100% of the profits from this war of mine on all platforms for the next seven days will go to uh, Ukrainian relief. That's a fucking great shout. Oh, if I'd known I would have been playing this war of mine on stream. Oh. Well, still, that is great. If you haven't played... Um... If you haven't played this war of mine, it's it is great. It is heavy, but it is very very good, uh, and I would thoroughly recommend that you uh, you play it. There's no love like your love. Right. Here we go. <laughs> Will says I'm quite glad you're not playing this war of mine. To be honest, fair. Well. We found a way into the palace. That's good. Into the palazzo. I used to have the board game. Do I? Yeah, I did have the board game. Oh, I, I gave it to a friend, I think. That's the board game's very good, but the the game itself is um. It's a lot, but it is very, very good. Anyway. Ah, it's horrible. Why are you looking? Oh, they do it while I'm watching now. Fucking hell. Ah, we will fuck off. What happened to this guy? What did he do? Oh, shit, the bed. What the fuck? Oh! Fucking hell! Kick, 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 kick the statue! Kick the statue! Kick the statue to death! Peeled statue? Monster Noodles done another super chat saying, P.S. Currently filling in a 45 page form and very glad of the company. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Much love from Teddy the Pup and I. Jesus Christ. Okay, so the people inside the statues are still people. Uh, that one was a peeled statue. Um, so, so you have to re guild them. Fucking hell. Well, I did not expect that, in fairness. That was a really good moment. Who the fuck's next? Da 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 da! <laughs> uh, 
Hang on. Hang on. Yes! <laughs> Fucking yeah. Oh, oh, that was great. Oh, fucking hell. I'm having a very good time with this. Um, Transgamer27 no, is on a super chat saying, I'll donate for Ukraine and trans Saxons when I get home later. Could I ask for a happy birthday shout for my pet, Ferret Ella? She turns five on Sunday. I usually watch your VODs on Sunday while cuddling with her and my other one. Um, absolutely. A very happy birthday to pet Ferret Ella, who turns five. That's a grand old age for a ferret. Uh, my wife and I had two that lived to be eight and a half, which is ancient for ferrets, but they were very, very sweet, and I'm sure Ella is too. Um, so yeah, if you could, um, if, you, if she likes it, like, you know when you hold their front paws and you rub their knuckles? Uh, if you could do that to Ella, if it's something she enjoys, that would make me very happy. So thank you very much for the super chat, and for the, uh, opportunity to talk about ferrets for a bit. Uh, Davidson and Hungry Joe were the names of ours and uh, we miss them very much Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying late as F haiku for late as F haiku time adulting is lame meetings pouring from my bum why is stuff all gold I could explain Corvus but honestly it would be a poem as long as Spencer's the fairy queen <laughs> oofed right let's Whoa, Mabel Teacher says my mum's ferret Primrose lived till she was ten. That's astonishing. You're not supposed to be here. Hi. The algae. Turn the algae to gold. Whoa! Ah oh, shit, the bed. Oh, no 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 no. Oh fuck. Oink! Oh, it doesn't get old. Um, Mr. McWaggle says, if I was a gold statue and some lady came through kicking gold statues, I'd keep my eye on her too. That's fair. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Who's next? I heard, I heard one of you. Oh, we're going down here, are we? Okay. Oh. Blah. Oh, they have a little society. Or had. Boop, boop, ba doop, boop, boop, ba doop, boop, 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 Hmm. Making my way downtown, walking fast, kicking statues in the head. Uh oh. Fuck off. Oh! Walking away, walking away, do <laughs> Headshots are good, aren't they? Oh, 
terrible shot. Here we go. <laughs> you too. Hello. Yes, we got some more denarius. I think I saw somebody saying, by the way, uh, Johnny, you're about to enter the worst part of the game. Let me know when it starts, because I'm having a lovely time. Take that, trees. Now you're made of gold. Well, this isn't... Ooh. I mean... Did I stutter? Plant, turn to gold. Thank you. What? Turn to gold. Thank you. Secrets? 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 Sounds like combat. No items. What? No. Oh. What? A shortcut. We've been this way. Ooh. Oh, I see. Yeah. I just wanted to explore. Look, that's fun, isn't it? Look, boing. Hmm? All right, all of you with a good sense of direction who knew I was going the wrong way. I was just, I was just curious. Oh. Uh, Mabel teaches, that is uh, absolutely a fair point about um, saying, did I stutter? I will take it on board and not do that. Uh, thank you very much for um, for explaining it in a... Oh, the statue just thanked me. Uh, yeah, thank you for explaining it, and, well, taking the time to help me get better at doing what I do. Oh, coin pouch, take. Apparently that didn't break the golden rule. Unless it did. What's a Lararium? A small household shrine where ancient Romans offer daily prayers for protection. Oofed. Alright. Holy shit! Suddenly we're playing Far Cry 3! Oh no, one of them got away. For now! Come here. Come here. Oh, oh for fuck. There you go. Uh, Andrew Kreiser has done a super chat saying, Can't remember if you have a P.O. box, but pretty sure my fiance would totally be up for sending you an invite. She, she'll be thrilled when she sees this. I do have a P.O. box, actually, but... I mean, I, I honestly, I do think it would be extremely weird if I did come to your wedding. But uh, I will post the P.O. box address in there anyway. Uh, 786673. <laughs> that's, that's my P.O. box. <laughs> Right, let's go take the coin pouch, do a bit of kicking. <laughs> Just absolutely tremendous. Mm, it's 
when they turn and look, it's scary. Key to the palace doors. Don't mind if I do. Maybe it's just, uh, here we go. Yeah. This way into the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls and sharing with its occupants ancient tales, my mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa, and Pygmalion and Galatea. Pygmalion, the sculptor who fell in love with a beautiful statue and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea. The nice witch has just kicked the door in on chat. Pretty much just gone like... Bah! The golden rule is how many pints it takes before you have to break the seal. Brackets, hello again. <laughs> hello. Welcome back, Sarah. <laughs> Fucking hell. That I heard you whisper to me, Galatea. Forgive me. I know that is not your real Oh, hello. We've got some more of them. from a story. But when I turned to look at you, I saw... The most exquisitely beautiful woman I have ever known. Got that one in the dick. Forever frozen in a Ah shit! Our meeting gave me new to free you ah, from shit. golden prison ah. so that I might one day be a busy actually, diary entry! So I gathered things for the long and difficult task ahead barred the doors to this place and set to work. <laughs> oh, it just doesn't get old. It just doesn't get old. Oh, wow. Who's next? Oh. Oh, wow. This game is... I'm having a great time. Monster Needle has done a super sticker of... Um, well, you'll remember the pear. Um, or at least you'll be aware of the concept of a pear. A pear is a, a fruit, if you weren't already uh, cognizant of the fact. It's, uh, it's broader at the bottom than it is at the top. So it sort of has a sort of half hourglass shape, or a pear shape, if you will. Uh, th this one uh, conforms to uh, the normal rules of being a pear along those lines. It's, that's the shape of it. But this one differs from most pears in that... Um, why can't I go anywhere? It's, uh, ah, here we go. It, um, it's got arms and legs and a face and seems to be sentient. Um, it also seemingly has... Um, uh, things that it enjoys, like sport. It's wearing some trainers and it's got a sports headband on its head. Uh, and it's laughing. It's holding its stomach um, and it's saying ha, 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 a lot. Uh, endlessly, actually. It's just caught in uh, in an endless loop of, of mirth. Uh, much like I've been for most of this stream. So thank you, Monster Noodle, for that super sticker. Uh, I very much appreciate it. Oof, well, this is all a bit precarious, isn't it? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, come on, come on. Oh, fuck off. Bollocks. Do I have to go all the way around? Please, no. Oh, 
Trans Gamer Nerd says lunch is now over. Bye, Johnny. Bye, chat. I'll see you on catch up this weekend. Take care. Catch you soon. Is it out here? Is it out this way? My sense of direction is really bad. Doodly doo doo doo. Yep, nope. Yep, just keep going. Keep going. Like you did. But then out there, remember? Oh. Fucking hell. It's, today's been a lot, hasn't it? Palace balcony. That's where we're going, isn't it? Now, is there... Can I, like... Turn that all to gold? Why would I bother? Oh, I need to go this way, don't I? Is it this? Yes. Eh? Eh? What am I, Spider-Man? Well, I'm going to fall off otherwise. What am I holding on with? You know what, don't don't question it. Oh, don't do that either. Jesus. Okay, we got there. We got there in the end. Woo! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, they're begging for death. Why are you trying to... Right, if you want me to kill you, form an orderly fucking queue, mate. Bastards! Bastards! Oh shit, the bed! Fuck you! Scared the crap out of me. Well, now we're just in the way. Hello? Well, the got. Ah. Scared the crap out of me. And we're nearly dead. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. The subtitle warned me, did it? Do I have a healing item? Don't you have healing item? Oh, I forgot I had I forgot I had a, an inventory to be honest. Select. How eat? Sylphium resin, no. Can't eat the coins. Zip handle bar, loaf of bread. Yep. Oh well. Oh goodness. That one's alive. I'm torn between my desire to be cautious and my desire to go over there and kick them in the head. Well, turns out that one, that one out, didn't it? Right. Oh yeah, look, look at that. You heal over time. Thank you, uh, Crinsback Spec Vander. Dr. Brangar says, what about that green vase? You shoot the green vases and they distract the enemies. That's their deal. <sighs> like this. Come and get me, all of you. Eh? Eh? But then wait. Algae! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, horrible. Boing! Will says, I really want to see the model do a face height kick with a bow fully drawn. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Great stuff. Really top notch.
Just in case. Aha! My beloved Galatea. My beloved Galatea. My first charge was a Greek woman, who I called Iodami, after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her... Oh! Will says, yeah, but in third person, I want to see how it works. I understand it's now. Sorry. By the discovery ah, of fuck! An and indeed, fuck off. Which is so rigid, Fuck! Unfortunately, this golden alloy seems to have been to the skin. So removing it exposed the sinew and muscle beneath and appeared to cause her great pain. Yes, Navia, you've done a terrible thing. Oh, fuck. Expecting that in the future it would break the golden rule. And yet, somehow, it did not. Oh, well, if it's not against the golden rule, it must be fine. responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering. They are forsaken. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night, attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body. But when I released her from her restraints, her first act was to lunge for my throat, clawing at me with all her strength and those sharp metal talons. This oh, there was the vase. That tried to save her. Whatever possessed Iodami to attack, she was clearly not a suitable subject for my experiment, and I was forced to lock her inside an isolated room of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side. This is heavy, isn't it? You're very heavy. Regrettably, my other experiments bore similar results. Yes. And after relocating a few times, most of the palace is now too dangerous to work in. Come on, off the balcony, off the balcony. As much as my heart aches to ah! I cannot risk attempting to ungild you yet. Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me. Children. In both mind and body, and ensuring your humanity is preserved. I promise you this. One day we will be together, even if I have to free every last statue in this God's forsaken place. Navia, you suck. How is this not breaking the golden rule, really? Come on. Who here is secretly not dead? Blech. Horrible. Horrible, so it is. Oh, boink, boink. Yes, hello. You can talk. Ah, shit. Hello. And you must be the wretched snake who broke into my palace and disturbed my experiments. And worst of all, Look at what you made me do to her. This never would have happened if you just stayed away. You're going to pay for that. And you think I care about that? Apparently not. I don't care what happens to me as long as you get what, what do you, you deserve. deserve. Okay. Mr. McWaggle says uh, her uplighting game is strong. This is very true. And her eyebrows. Look at that. Everyone's got great control over their brows in this game. 
I mean, I do kind of want to shoot her with a golden bow, but this has nothing to do with... I mean, we shouldn't immediately go for violence, Liar. let's say. I locked and barred the gate. I left a message warning you all to leave me alone. Uh -huh. I just wanted to do my experiments in peace for her. Yes, and that's... Now, mm. look at her. You made me turn the most beautiful woman I've ever seen into this. Look at her. She's in agony. Still not seeing how this is my fault. Was to spend my last moments with her. To see, see her, her beautiful, beautiful face. face. To hear her speak freely. Instead of crisp, crisp, yeah. But as soon as I began my work, she stopped whispering to me. And now I discover she started whispering to you instead. Jealousy. What's so special about you. What do you mean, the same voice? It's like someone mm. else. Yes. I remember when they used to whisper to me. They did sound similar. I just thought it was because all voices sound the same when they whisper. But now that I think about it, they were all benevolent mm -hmm. and seemed to share a common knowledge. Mm -hmm. But if these bodies are mere conduits for that one voice, then... This body is nobody. Yep. And everything I've done here was... Bad? Was... Bad. Wait, I see what you're doing. You were this close! You're trying to steal her away from me. Ugh. Are you planning to wait until I've done all the hard work, then swoop in? Is that it? Uh, hats off to Adam, who types, uh, look what you might us do. Ah, oh, ah, oh, shit. Look what you might us do. <laughs> That's crazy talk. No, I'm not gonna, not gonna say that. Liar! You tried to steal her away from me. Ah! Oh, look what you made shit. me do. Look what you might us Give do. Me one good reason why I shouldn't feel you too. I've got a golden bow. What? What are you talking about? Boop boop boo. So you're saying? You weren't coming for us. Correct. So I did all this. Yes. I ruined her. For, for nothing. nothing. What have I done? Oh, God. Oh, I'm no. So oh, no. I can't bear the thought of her being like this. Here we go. And in so much pain. Yeah. It's the air coming into contact with her flesh. Whoops. It's agonizing for them. Yep. But the only way to fix it. Will be to break, break the, the golden, golden rule and let it run its course. At least that way she'd be golden again, and we'd be together. No, 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 no! I can undo this. I can undo. Ah! It's too late. There's nothing you can do. What? I have to do this. I'm sorry. No, you don't. I can cover her in gold what? again. Oh. The bow. Really? I, I'm not sure I believe you. But if you can undo this mess, I'll tell you what you need to know. Good. But if you're lying to me... Yes, golden, the golden rule and kill you and everyone, everyone else in this city. city. Understood. Understood. All right, stand back. Oh, the temptation then. Sorry about this, Galatea. In my experience, a headshot's the quickest way to do it. Whoop! There you are, mate. You did it. You took away her pain. Yep. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. Say what the cure for rheumatism is. I will never harm her again. I swear it. Good. I'll stay here to keep her company. Me? But these poor souls, what can be done for them? I've tried everything I can. I oh, you, you tried peeling. The only one capable of releasing them properly is whichever god doomed them in the first place. Yep. In any case, I must honour our bargain. Give it up. The treatment for rheumatism is willow bark. Ah. I believe there's a pot of it already in the Shrine of Apollo. Well, well, well. No, please leave. The door here leads out onto the palace balcony. You should be able to make your way down from there. Goodbye. Go and never return. Okay. Well then. Bye. Uh, where were we going? Out this way? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, for the love of... Ah, I set myself on fire. 
Um, you know what, pals? I what? think I. Are you still here? I'm tr yes, in in a in a way. I'm trying to find my way out, actually. Uh, but I might, I might stop the stream there because uh, it's it's not that I'm not having fun. It's um, it's that I think I've had too much fun. Like genuinely, this has slightly broken me, uh, and I feel like that is quite a good place to stop. Um, because otherwise, I'm just gonna go back to the assassin, and I'm gonna. I'm going to give myself a hernia laughing. Uh, so this has been great fun. I thought this I thought this would be a, a giggle to stream, but I didn't realise how much. I actually really like it. It's very well accomplished. And goodness me, what a stream. That was preposterous. Um, uh, as Mr. Tom for the Wind puts it, Johnny's all tuckered out from laughing. Absolutely. Alex Thorold says, we are doing more of this though, right? I would come back to this, I think. I'll try, yeah, we'll we'll come back to this in a few weeks' time. Because, oof, as Snorpin Bass says, if you want to continue playing the game, press 1. Um, yeah, this has been great fun. Um, as ever, um, I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini if you want to have a look at that. Um, excuse me. Oh, there's loads of stuff on the channel for you to watch if you want to do that. Um I'll be back on Saturday with fresh episodes of Preston and Chiodini. There's also an episode of my favourite board games coming out very, very soon. Um, HC Bird says you don't have to talk to the assassin again. I know I don't have to, but I can and I will. Um, but yeah, this has been great. I hope everyone has a lovely rest of the day. Um, and yes, I will uh, oh, I will catch you very soon. Um, so take care of yourselves. Thanks again for watching and uh, goodbye.